welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but free way. Today's video is the last episode of my series, Vacation Wardrobe. I'm going to share with you how I make my baby John dress. This dress has kind of a little bit of balloon sleeve design with a high round neck and drop for hem. It's really comfortable and it's kind of like a throw on outfit on the day you don't know what to wear. So I hope you like it and check it out and let's get started. The first step is making the pattern for this dress. To make the main bodice pattern, I fold the paper in half foot. From the folding line, I draw a straight line at one side of the paper. This will be the top line of the main bodice. From this line, I keep making another straight line 20 cm from it. It's 1 by 5 my bust side plus 3 cm. And it will be the bust line of the dress. On the first straight line, I mark up 7 cm, which is a half of the neck of the dress that I want. On the second straight line, I mark up 22 cm, which is a quarter of my bust side plus 2 cm. Then connecting two marks together to create a sleeve line on the main bodice. From the second straight line, I make the third one 40 cm from it. It's the length from my bust to above my knee. So the length between this line and the first straight line will be 60 cm, which is the length of the dress that I want. Minus the length of the ruffle hem at the end of the dress I will add later. On the third straight line, I mark up 30 cm, which is one and a half times a quarter of my hip side. Then connect this mark to the mask on the bust line to create the side line for the pattern. From the first straight line, I mark at 3 cm on the folding line. It's the dip of the neck that I want. Then connect this mark to the one of the first straight line. Based on that line, I draw a curve line to finish the next line for the front pattern. After that, I make a sleeve line a bit curved at the end to create a smooth connecting part between the sleeve and the side line. At the end of the side line, I mark up 1cm. Then connect this mark to the end of the other end of the third straight line. Based on it, I make this new line a bit curved to create a smooth ending line for the pattern. Adding 1cm for seam allowance after that. And here's the front pattern of the dress after cutting. To make the back pattern of the dress, I draw a line 1cm away from the middle line of the front pattern. Folding this new line and you will have the back pattern of the dress. Remember, the back of the dress will be created by two pieces of this pattern. To make the sleeve pattern, I draw the tango with 35cm width, which is a half of the width of the sleeve that I want, and 40cm length, which is the length of the sleeve that I want. However, one length line of the rectangle will be a folding line. From one end of the folding line, I draw a circle with a 40cm length, this will be the ending line of the sleeve. This line will cut another length line of the rectangle at one point. From the end of the folding line, I mark down on the width line 7cm, which is a half of the neck of the dress that I want. Then connect this mark to the cutting point on the other length line to create the underambic line of the sleeve. After that, I measure the width between the width line and the underambic line and mark where it's 20 cm which is 1 by 5 my bust side plus 3 cm. Then draw a slightly curved line from that mark to the top of the underambic line to finish the sleeve line of the pattern. To make the pocket pattern, I cut a rectangle with 20 cm width and 30 cm length. I mark in the middle on one length line foot. Then draw a curved line from this mark to connect to one end of the other length line. From one end of this curved line, I mark at 15 cm on the length line, which is the length of the open part of the pocket where you can put your hand in. From this mark, I draw a curved line to connect to the end of the other length line. And here's the pocket pattern after cutting. Now, let's start making this dress. 
I used two meters of black cotton fabric in blue color for this DIY. After cutting two pieces of the back pattern, I connect them together on the middle line by the pink first. From the top of the neck, I marked down 12 cm to create the open part for the dress so your head can go through when you wear the dress on. Then sewing from this mark to the end of the back pattern. After that, I finished the open part of the back dress by folding the fabric inside two times and sewing. From the end of the side line, I marked up 10cm which is the position of the pocket on the side line of the dress. Then at the end of the pocket to this mark and sew. Doing the same for both sides of the side line. I also do the same for the front of the dress, then connect the front and the back of the dress together at two side lines. To make the ruffle hem, I cut two rectangles with 20cm length and 90cm width which is 3 times a half of my hip side. It's also 1.5 times the width at the end of the dress. I connect two rectangles together by the length lines to create a circle fabric foot. After that, I finish one side of the circle fabric by folding the end fabric inside two times and sewing. At the other side of the circle fabric, I make a loose seam foot. Then I create a gathering fabric there later. Make sure the final width of the gathering fabric will be 120cm, which is 1.5 times my hip side. It's also the same with the width at the end of the dress, so you can connect them together later. Moving to the sleeve, I connect two underarm big lines of the sleeve together after cutting. After that, I make a loose seam at the end of the sleeve foot. Then I create a gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be 24cm which is a bit bigger than the width of my arm.
To finish the end of the sleigh, I cut a rectangle with 3.5cm width and 26cm length, which is 2cm longer than the width at the end of the sleigh I made before that. It's 2cm for seam allowance. That's why I connect two width lines of the rectangle together to create a circle fabric with 24cm, which is the same at the end of the sleeve, so I can connect one side of the circle fabric to the end of the sleeve. After the first seam, I fold the other side of the circle fabric inside to the end fabric foot. Then keep folding it again over the first seam to hide on the end fabric inside and make the second seam. And I finish the sleeve of the dress, make another piece like this. Now I'm connecting the sleeve to the dress at the sleeve lines. To finish the neck of the dress, I cut a long rectangle with 3cm width and around 70cm length or longer if you want. I connect the middle of the rectangle to the middle of the front neck and sew it together. After that, I fold the other side of the rectangle inside to the end fabric foot, then keep folding it over the first seam to hide on the end fabric inside and make the second seam. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This thread is so cute but also comfy and can hide your belly as well. I hope you like it and drag it out. See you next week!